What up, fam? I tell you, I have I take care of Bodhi as a dad. And here, hold on a second. I gotta go. Test, 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 test. Xbox controller, apparently. That's Bodhi. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to. Uh, what's up? Uh, Machu Picchu FPV. And nice dreams FPV. What do you mean by it smells like fish in here? I wonder what that means. Um. Test, 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 test. Okay. So what we got today is... Oh, fuck. I want to screen back to where it was so I can lean forward and play the sim okay time to talk and fly uh yeah the only thing that smells like pussy is your or the only thing that smells like fish is your pussy there nice dreams FPV just joking um Ooh, this feels good. Does it feel... Is it weird that... I feel really, really, like... One... At one... With... This fucking quad. Um... Sorry, I'm a little fucking scatterbrained right now, because, um... just got finished like setting up this DCS world thing so um I love you too nice dreams dreamers um we're gonna we're gonna play on this for a little bit today uh I literally just finished it I downloaded the F-16 Viper I downloaded the Persian Golf map cost me 160 beans um, so the way that DCS world is um, is they you they charge you for each aircraft and then each map too because they put like great detail into these maps um, and then they also so DCS world for all you guys that don't know and you're about to you're gonna see it in a good 15 minutes here it is a one-to-one -one scale of combat simulation so if you're flying an f-16 you better fucking believe that every single button does something and their navigation system their weapon 
weapon guidance system, their um, the radar, every everything is exactly one to one. Um, real pilots get into this thing, and they say that it's better than the simulators that they have. Um, uh, real like wartime pilots and people who fly the airplanes. Um, now, if you guys have been following this, you understand how much I've been talking about DCS World, and it is a reality today. I, after probably, what is it, 24, 32 hours of me trying to figure out how to hook up my fucking rudder system, um, we got that down. So now my rudders work. Um, I also figured out a couple other things about like how binding binding buttons and all that other stuff and I did a couple quick flights with the Mustang P51 Mustangs is a free it's a free plane that they give you and on the free map but I I really wanted to download the the Persian Gulf map um, because it looks amazing what's going on Roscoe today you're gonna get a little bit of a fucking clinic about how to invert into gaps and then you're gonna get a little bit of a clinic on what it would be like to fly an f-16 for the first time and crash an f-16 for the first time because I'm sure there's gonna be crashing now spoiler alert I needed to bind all my buttons to make sure that this sim worked. And while I was doing that, I had a quick takeoff. So it's not going to be technically my first flight, but it's going to be the first flight where I actually understand what I'm doing. Um, so I, I told Aaron this story. One of my best buddies. I told Aaron this story. And he's like, buddy, you should you should live stream your first encounters with this sim because it's it's gonna be funny for one thing, like to to see how bad you are at flying an actual F sixteen. And then at the same time, um, I guess it could also just be like what the progression is, because I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of progression in flying that fucking thing and knowing the capability abilities of you know what it can do and um, and all that stuff so I decided okay I'll make sure that everything's set up so we can get the live stream going and there's I'm gonna try not to have any hiccups during the live stream okay um, revert into a Rubik's cube Okay, from an invert. So go like this into. Well, that won't work because then I'm going to be looking back at where I was coming from. So, literally, I took off once, okay? I took off on that F 16 once. Now, I'll tell you how my first takeoff went. Now, Aaron did say it was caused by something. Um, and and I believe it was because uh, I don't think the... Anyways, so I take off. I did a quick research on what my rotating speed was. And the other thing is you have to engage the nose wheel to steer this thing. So I didn't know that. I knew the F-18 had one, but I didn't know the F-16 had one. Um, now, the reason why I picked the F-16 over the F-18, even though I'm sure I'm gonna grab the F F-18 as well, um, is the F-16 is the second fastest plane in the sim. It is very maneuverable and the, there's no canopy. Like, it's a, it's a dome. So when you have your, like, visual reference of everything, all you see is, like, your hub, and, like, that's it. So I think it's just going to be a better-looking plane for, like, that 
Im immersive experience and not having like any struts or other things in the way um, so so I, I go and I take off so I know my rotating speed rotating speed is at um, like 140 to 170 it just depends how heavy you are and I don't know how to check how heavy I am so I just figured oh, okay 170 and away we go so first of all I try taxing this thing and it fucking won't steer so then I get online I figure out okay you have to engage the nose wheel so I get that going I start taxiing and I I'm not good like I'm very good with this stuff like I can point this fucking thing wherever I want and go for anyone who's never flown an airplane it's a trip having your steering with your feet okay um, so it's gonna it's gonna take me a little while to get used to that again and then um, so then I'm taxiing down this runway okay Aaron I'll taxi when he's when he switches Aaron's Aaron's literally like online right now trying to figure out what computer he needs to get to start running DCS world and then I'll have a wingman shortly hereafter if anyone else on this stream wants to join us in DCS world magic and learn how to fly an F-16 in one of the most realistic sims out there um, definitely you know let me know and we'll see if we can't get you in our little squadron and we're gonna form here um so i taxi and i'm pretty sure hey buddy hi buddy hi how was your nap how was your nap baby boy one second one second Hey Ma, I'm I'm live streaming. Can you take him for a little bit? Or wake up Jenny, please? Mm. Hey! Can you say Doug? Doug. Say Doug. Doug. <laughs> you fucking can say dog, my god. Okay, bye big boy. I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. Sorry. Um I've been fucking and just drilling the word dog into him. And, and now it looks like he kind of knows how to say it. Um, so I taxi, I, I don't know any, like I don't have anything set up. No, no, I don't know how to fucking break the, the aircraft, like wheel brakes, nothing. So, I go full fucking tilt, just military takeoff, full afterburners, everything. Going down the run runway, everything's fine. It's way easier to take off than the fucking P, um, the Mustang P-51, uh, because there's no, there's no rudder that you have to worry about um, from the the prop wash, right? Anyways, so get to 170 knots v1 rotate and um, I, br I bring her up to speed I'm like yeah let's see what this thing can do and with the with the Mustang you can't just pull back on the stick like it it there's like limitations there's, it's, there's none of like this you know like you can't do that so when you pull back on the stick with the with the P1 it you have to do like a very slow roll right but that's not how I see these guys flying the F16 so I'm like okay let's bring this bad boy up to speed I bring up to 350 knots kind of you know a performance speed for this this aircraft that will uh, make it perform well and um, very sharp and I pull right back into 
what I've seen from any air show and I just try to send this thing fucking vertical and the plane air like vibrates for a second and then levels out and hard right air like hard right roll so it starts doing this okay so I'm putting the other roll input to get me back to normal I'm like what is going on here like did I just blow like my hydraulics or something because I took off too fast and I'm like what is going on here so I I look over to the left and all my control surfaces look good I look over to my right expecting to see maybe you know there's an aileron uh, missing or something no my whole wing is missing so I crash and burn and die and now that I think of it Aaron's like did you did you tag something while I was taxiing and I'm pretty sure I did so um, so that's what happened and uh, with this next takeoff hopefully everything goes right and the plane just flies and we can have some fun with it um, fuck I can't Yeah. So I wanted to um, I wanted to kind of just let some people come into the to the room because I I know sometimes uh, I know like people can't get to their computers right away. So I know there's been a lot of people who have been following this. Um, well, not a lot, but you know, like 30, 35 people. And uh, what's up? What's up? What? What's up, everyone? Sorry, if it, if anyone came into the live stream uh, and I didn't say hi, I'm going to say hi now um, because I was kind of in store mode there and and wasn't really keeping track. So anyways, what's going on? Um, if, if you're just joining us, um, DCS World is digital combat simulator um it's a one-to-one -one scale uh like digital combat combat simulator okay like they've put so much work into these aircrafts and these maps that you literally you don't buy the game you buy aircrafts or maps okay uh, and the next thing is, I've been literally talking about this setup for like the longest time. And um, that's why you're kind of going to have my first impressions and reactions to the simulator. Uh, I'm not going to be full VR just yet because I'm, I'm still figuring out the aircraft. And I don't want to... Um, like it's, it's it's a huge learning curve guys there's literally 400 buttons that you got to bind uh or that you can bind um shortcuts and all that stuff for your radar for your navigation system for just even like the avionics and the the aircraft's mechanical systems like it's just fucking crazy um so I just want to learn how to fly the aircraft first before I start f trying to figure out and like Aaron's kind of got me scared now because he's like yeah the the VR stuff is is hard to set up to like get the right settings and there's a lot of digging you need to do and reading and software so it's a big learning curve anyways I don't have my VR set up yet so when I'm looking around in the aircraft, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be kind of weird because I got it on a, I got my like view button through a, um, on a, uh, like a little D-pad thing. So it's a little bit tricky and, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure it's gonna be like even flying the P-51 and using it the same way I'm using it now. It's fucking hard to like, fly the airplane and then just know what buttons to push so uh yeah
No, Roscoe. Planes are probably less complex. These fucking some of like uh, Cessna 172. It's not that hard. But a fucking full one-to-one -one scale military jet. You literally have every single button you would ever need. Every single startup procedure for the aircraft, the the weapons guidance, the navigation, radar. That's complex. Um, and and just the fact that you need to know how to fucking fly these things. It's not just like it just it doesn't act like this quad you know like there's stall speeds there's hey can someone really quickly go online and see what Mach 1 is in knots I want to know what the speed of sound is in knots I was I was gonna do that and write it down but I didn't get time I wrote up a little startup procedure for taxiing and um, it's called a hot start so when you're already the aircraft's already started and you're just on the runway and you just have to taxi and take off pretty much so I wrote up a little um, checklist for that it it's not nearly everything I need like if I was going into combat I would need to turn on my radar and make sure my altimeter like there's a secondary altimeter that has a servo on it you gotta make sure that shit works you gotta make sure that you're like Uh, Omar, I would say it's 98, 97% the same. And that's no joke. It's, it's really dialed in, but you gotta, I find that you have to fly with the DRL, uh, racer four, no f three. I think this is the racer three. Um, Roscoe, find out what the speed of sound is. So the sound barrier, what that speed is in knots. I need it in knots because that's the, that's what the aircraft's, um, speed unit is in. And most aviation, I think everything aviation is in knots, so... Find out what the speed is in kilometers, miles per hour, and knots, and throw it into that live stream for us. Whoever whoever does that uh, is the fucking man. Thank you so much. And then we'll have some reference, because I know there's some Canadians. I know there's some people from Europe and Canada. So... You know what? I feel like I'm getting to learn because this is a fucking big map I feel like I'm getting to learn this one little area and then I can flow a little bit better I tell you this much we're gonna be buzzing some fucking traffic when we fire up DCS world if I can like get off the tarmac if I can get off the tarmac and like and like fly this thing stably and like everything's working and we don't have like live fuck ups on live TV. So 666. Okay, so we'll just say it's 666. Hell. 666. Yeah, let me write that down really quickly. What is it in what is it in miles and kilometers? 666 knots. Holy fuck me, 120. A thousand, a thousand two hundred thirty four kilometers an hour, okay? And 776 miles per hour. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, fuck. A thousand two hundred kilometers an hour. That fucking jet can go like easily. Like, easily it can go. Like, I've seen people. Uh, I've seen people fly that thing. And it's just, like, incredible the how fast it can go, man. And it's just fucking, like, oh, God. Like, you know, you know Josh Bixler got to ride in one of those fucking things? 
the guy from flight test like that would have been fucking crazy experience man just to be able to have to pull the G's and stuff like that What are we at? 25 minutes. Let's fucking text Aaron and let's jump into some DCS motherfuckers. Oh god. Okay, let's fire this shit up. Sorry, DRL. Okay, so for any pilots out there that don't want to watch me try to take off land and fly an F-16, you can leave now. Uh, for those of you that want to experience this first experience with me please stay hold on I gotta, I gotta text Aaron here going live so the one thing is this is the one thing my setup is not complete yet so I have two baby milk formulas Let's turn off the fucking music too. Let's get really into this sim. Whew, look at that. That's, that's literally me right there. Okay. Okay, so I need to. I need to. I'm just. Pulling everything up here because it's a totally different setup from flying the fucking sim. So, I gotta pull the screen way close to me. Okay, so instant action. And we want a Persian Golf ready on the ramp. Okay. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. Ah! rudder control okay so i might have to scream at you guys now because the mics can be way further away from me i can't, I can't sit that close i'm gonna have to get aaron to help me build a fucking cockpit okay Jesus Christ, this is idling. Okay, check, 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 check. See, this is the bad thing, so maybe I can... I'm gonna turn up my mic. Options, sorry, I should have done this before. Audio, mm. okay. Maybe that one turns me down. Yeah, okay. So, because I'm going to need my test, test, test. Because I'm farther away. I can't, like, I can't, like, look in. Because the microphone. Okay. So, now, bear with me. So, this is, this is all I really have right now. Um... I have that, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, okay, but we need to be zoomed in, so let's, let's do our little, <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm like actually nervous here, okay, let's do our little, um, pre pre-takeoff checklist, and bear with me, because I did bind some, I did bind some buttons, and... Okay, so see that little light that's going on and off? That's my that's my um wheel that's the the wheel steering, okay? So this is this is going to be able to turn the airplane. See my little rudder pedals here? That's going to be able to I think this is a real person. I don't know. I hope there's not real people on this map because because yeah, um, I'm not going to be calling, like, the tower or anything like that to take off. I'm just going to be going, so. 
pre-flight checklist. Oh, really quickly, look at this, okay? See all these? These are all things that you can bind. Look at this. I'm still scrolling. I just scrolled so much. Like, you can bind all this shit. Like, it's just fucking crazy. Okay. Canopy down and locked. Canopy down and it is locked. Okay. Um, match altimeter with hub. So my hub says 190. My altimeter that's down here says it is matched to 190. So there is another one that we got to do. Where are you? You check to see. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to do this. But you check to see if the electronic altimeter is working, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So, no flaps with this plane. This plane flies a lot. It it, it flies a lot with itself. Like there's a there's a computer that does stuff. When I pull out my landing gear, that's when the flaps um, disengage. So engage nose wheel, which we already did. So that green light up there is engaged. My brakes are W. I, I don't, oh no. I did put my brakes to, so my brakes are going. I did do my brakes to a switch on my throttle um, now okay so probe heat is on now I sorry and this is something that I'm fucking struggling with right now I can't wait to have it in VR so it's just easier probe heat my probe heat is on. So let's turn that back to on. Jesus. No, we want on. Can you not? Okay, there we go. Um, alt flaps is normal. Fuck, I forget what that button. Okay, alt flaps is normal. Okay, check. Pitch roll and yaw trim are set to neutral. So that's these buttons right here. Neutral, neutral, and neutral. Check. Speed brake is not engaged. So just bear with me while I'm trying to like navigate this fucking speed brake. Where the fuck was the speed brake again? I'm pretty sure. Oh, speed brake closed. Okay, so that's good. Um, fuel quantity select knob has to be on normal, which it is. Check flight control surfaces. Oh shit! Oh god. Okay, so we have rudder. We have elevator. And we have ailerons on both sides. Yep. Okay. <laughs> check flight control surfaces. Check oil pressure to be, what is it, 15 to 65 psi. So it is in that range. And it's back out of that. Oh, guess what the next one is, ladies and gentlemen. The next one is what takeoff speed we go at. Okay, so now the next thing is, so now we can pretty much go. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, don't do that. Break, 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 break. Okay. Jesus. Okay. There we go. 
like I'm in an F-16 right now. Let's pretend that like I'm actually in this thing. I I, I need to bring it back down to the fucking ground without crashing. Um, so let's check the area to see if we can go. So we can go. It says don't give it too much gas. Oh my god, don't give it too much throttle. Okay, see, I'm already getting all fucked up here. There's a lot of things going on, so let's get on this line so we don't nick my wing again. You're only supposed to be taxiing at like less than 10 knots or something like that with this thing because it's they're very easy to tip over. Sorry guys, I'm I'm trying to fucking I'm trying to figure out everything here. Jesus. Okay. Let's make sure I'm pretty sure I hit this this car last time and that's why um, we didn't have wings on takeoff. Pretty much, yes. If you can fly this, you can fly a real F-18. The only thing is with a real F-18 is you're most likely not going to be able to withstand the G's, so. So, with this aircraft, 77 knots is when we disengage the nose wheel steering and we can take over with just full rudder. So I do have that on a switch, is my pinky finger. So we're gonna try to remember to do that. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's back out of that really quickly so they can't yell at me. <laughs> Fuck, me. Do, do that all over again? My God. Sorry, whoever that was. Please don't yell at me. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, we're going to do this really quickly. Uh, there. Everything was already on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. This is closed. This is just normal. Oil pressure. We have to get that down. Okay, now we're good to go for that. Normal. Normal altimeter has to match our HUD. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm sorry guys, I didn't know, I didn't realize there was like, active, okay, see, oh god, okay baby, he, he's he gotta go, I'm sorry, I'm live right now, uh, I don't think I can go reverse here, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that turn, so guess what? Bodhi just kind of uh, distracted me, and we're gonna have to do this all over again. Okay, we're gonna pretend like we just did that checklist. Okay, oh. fuck, it's it's just hard even getting this thing to go fucking down the taxiway. Okay, nose wheel steering is pinky. Okay, now oh, let's get this thing. The hardest thing is using your feet to steer this fucking thing. Like it, that's that is the hardest thing. It is a mind fuck, and then you're at the same time you're trying to figure out all these different things. Okay, so the nose, the nose steering has to be turned off once we get to 77, and then we're gonna rotate this thing, 
at 140 knots. I'm going to zoom out just enough to see my... Actually, no, we're not. We're going to keep it right here. Jesus, I, I keep on getting like the foot pedals backwards. Okay, so... Stop that. Brake. Okay, there's no air traffic. That guy is... 6.8 nautical miles and heading away from us. Uh, there's other people behind us, so we're just going to get on this goddamn runway and go. I really hope I'm not going against traffic here. Okay, brakes on. Throttle is all the way up. Brakes off. Okay, nose, wheel is disengaged, we got rudder, we have 150 knots, V1, rotate, oh my god, get up there, get up there! Okay, drifting off a little bit. Now, we're gonna bring down, we can't go over 300 knots without picking up the landing gear, so we got the landing gear under 300 knots, so they're not gonna get ripped off. Oh my god, okay, we're in the air, we can breathe for a second, my god. Okay. Whew. Fucking sweating here. Should we just go straight for the fucking sound barrier right now? So we're at 570 knots. So we got our knots here. We got our altitude right there. So. Let's pick this up a little bit. Uh, how do we go into Afterburner? Six hundred knots, six sixty six, right? I don't know. I think I need to. Um, okay, let's just, just fucking get some. Let's. Descend and see if we can accelerate up to the sound barrier. You know what? I don't think I can get. Um, I don't think I can get this the sound barrier right now. I gotta I gotta figure that out. But let's definitely let's definitely go vertical with this fucking bitch. I'm blacking out. You can see the fucking wings bending. Okay, so let's bleed off some energy here. Let's pull all the way back. So what are we at? 14,000 feet in like less than two seconds? That's just fucking crazy. See, it'll be good once you can, like, look around. What are we doing? Fucking uh, over 560 knots. Let's pull back that throttle a little bit. Yeah, you can block yourself out, too, with the knots, so, like, a little bit too much energy there. 
let's get into the city. Okay, so off there in the distance is the city, so let's ride the highway to the city. I need to learn how to fly this F-16 properly. Like those are buildings, people. Those are blocks and buildings that we're going past, and they're going past like it's nothing. The West Khalifa. I'm sorry guys, the, the stream is very glitchy. I think it, it can't handle what my computer is putting out right now for graphics, so I'm sorry. Yeah, my, uh, oh shit, I'm coming down way too fast, and that's me dying, um, yeah, uh, my computer is running full graphics perfectly, it's the streaming, um, setup that can't handle what I was just doing, um, but look at the fucking detail on this thing. Yeah, I didn't I didn't pull up in time for um Like look at that thing. I didn't pull up in time. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I killed myself pretty fucking quick, but <clears throat> Let's, let's jump back in really quickly. I wonder why it's so laggy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's so laggy, guys. I think it's just the the level. Um, my computer's running it perfectly smooth, but it just seems like the stream can't really handle it. So I would probably have to go in there and tweak the setup to make it run smoothly um, for you guys. No, I haven't tried landing yet, so that's what we're going to do now, and we'll see if we can land this fucking thing. 
which I don't think is possible, but we will see. We'll do a quick circuit, and then uh, we'll come back around and land. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try just to V1 rotate here and, and see if we can, just, okay, nose wheel steering, disengage, landing gear is gonna go up as soon as I remember how to zoom out, okay, um, Jesus, it's fucking... It is a fucking ordeal just to get this thing off the fucking ground, man. find that fucking run runway again, which might not be the easiest thing, because this thing just took us like fucking 10 miles away from it. Uh, is that it? Off in the distance? I think it is. So we are going to head back over that way. What are we doing? Oh, just 479 knots cruising. And what are we at? 5,000 feet. Okay, let's turn this bitch around and f find this fucking airport. Okay. That's definitely it, but who knows how far away I have to put the approach out to um, on final. Just like looking at the wings when it, it does this, and you can like see the fucking bend in, in the wings and shit. We just climb 2,000 fucking feet in like three seconds. Okay, um, I have no way of knowing where to land, line this fucking thing up at. So I think we're gonna we're going to come out a little bit. start to bleed off speed now because I think there's going to be a lot of fucking shit going on so you can see my throttle moving I have it at around uh, mid mid throttle um, Uh-oh. I think... I think that's it? So, we're gonna pretend like it is, and we're gonna get... We're gonna get down to altitude. We're gonna come right off the throttle. We're gonna... We're gonna get her to, to 3,000 feet. Okay. Look at I have no throttle on right now. And look at my speed. My speed is slowly coming off. Like this thing just like is so aerodynamic. Okay, we're gonna get down to two hundred. We're gonna get down to where I can take away the uh, put down the landing gear. Landing gear 
gears down. Oh shit, never mind. My landing gear was... Oh no, wait a minute. Okay, it's down. It has to be down. Okay. So now we're at... Okay, we need a little more throttle. 2,000 feet. there's an F-18 coming towards me. Is that the fucking runway? Or is this the runway over here? We're gonna aim for this one because... I'm pretty sure this is the actual runway. I'm gonna engage my... I can't engage my nose wheel steering. Okay, let's get our speed up a little bit. Let's crab our way in over here. Go 160 knots, 170 V1 rotate. Let's get that landing gear up so it doesn't fucking rip off. Did I just land a fucking F 16 on my first go? My god. So we're going to get up to around 600 knots and we're just going to send this thing to the fucking moon. Okay, now we're gonna. I wanna break this sound barrier. I don't know how to do it with this thing. I'm gonna have to look into it how we can, uh. how we can break it. But let's get up to like 30,000 feet and then just dive straight down. And then I think that's how I'm going to, um. I think that's how I'm gonna be able to do it. What sucks is I'm going to have to really learn how to Okay, let's get up to speed here. Let's come around. Ooh. So the controls get really light when we're at this speed. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't like going slow.
I guess I'm at 30,000 feet, so this thing's not gonna fucking... This thing's not gonna go that fast, as fast. I don't know, how would it work? It would go faster. Anyways, okay, let's, let's get this thing up to speed here. Thousand feet's enough. Five sixty six hundo six. There we go. We're fucking Mach one boys. Let's go by the West Cleef fucking Mach one here. Am I saying that name right? See, that's where I need, I need head tracking. Choppy as hell again. I'm sorry guys, I don't think he can handle the city. doesn't like to pitch forward that fast. I guess that's so you don't rip off shit from... Okay, let's let's try to find an airport here. Where is the airport? I have no idea where I am. We're gonna land this thing and then we're gonna we're gonna Oh, is that an airport right there? Let's go bust the tower. See if this is an airport. Let's just get this fucking thing. Look at this, a Yak forty. <laughs> 
my god, who buys the Yak 40? Now, the next thing is, we have to know is, is this airport the one we took off from? And then the next thing is, So we're gonna come around. We're gonna get into the circuit here. I can't wait till Aaron can play this thing with me. We're just fucking 524 knots. Okay, let's just get this thing going. We're gonna see if we can actually land this thing and get it to stop. Okay, because the touch and go is a little bit different than a um, than a full landing. start backing off the throttle here and get into a decent speed because the more you have to do that stuff when you're actually in the middle of the landing it gets oh fuck what the fuck am I doing Okay, we're gonna have to do a tight, a wide turn into. Now, I have to remember to engage my nose wheel steering once it goes under 70 knots, okay? Yeah, it's 140. There's also there's this there's this chart that you got you got to look at to uh, that you got to look at for how much the plane weighs. Right now, I don't think we have a full loadout, so I'm pretty sure um, safe to say it's probably like 150 ish. But what the fuck do I know? You know? Okay, let's let's turn around here. And Our altitude is 3,600 feet. Start to bring this down. We want our land gear to be down at... Let's play off some speed here. Okay, now I can bring the landing gear down, but we're going to get in line really quickly. Zoom out, landing gear down. Hopefully that Yak 40 is out of the fucking way by the time we get there. Okay, we're going to get in line. Keep it at that like 300, three, no, three, 260 ish area. Okay, my brakes are W, and I know what's going to happen as soon as I get down there. Okay, we need to get down. Okay, that's, that's uh, kind of looks good, I guess.
And like, I don't even know if I'm a crosswind or anything. Okay, pinky finger, pinky finger. That's my nose wheel steering. Okay, we need to come off this fucking throttle. Okay, bleeding out the speed. Route one. Okay, this is happening very fast. I'm not slowing down. I'm pretty sure that's what my air brakes are for. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the brakes to slow this thing down. And then nose wheel steering. Engage. Oh my god. Okay. Nose wheel steering is way harder to fucking do. Um. Okay. Just fucking don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, fuck. I'm literally fucking sweating right now. Guys, I'm sweating. Oh, fuck. I turned off my. N oh, no. Oh, no. No, my F-16. No. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'd say that I'm down. Um, can I eject? How do I eject? I think that's actually something that I needed to do. You needed to go like that to be able to eject, I think. Uh, master alarm off. Anyways. Uh, I'd say that's pretty successful. Um, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, you know, I would say that it's probably, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the limb here and say that it's probably a 10 out of 10 landing. Um, you know, for your first time, second time, uh, fuck me, that was fun. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm not even joking. I'm actually fucking sweating. I feel like I've had a bunch of adrenaline dumped into my body. Like, my hands are sweating. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Should we just go buy the fucking F-18 right now? <sighs> Fuck. I want to buy the Nevada map as well. Just go bombard the fucking strip. So these are the these are the all the different airplanes you can get. Um, fuck, that was fun. I'm not even joking. I'm like fucking exhilarated right now. Like I'm I'm full on um full I I'm not even fighting people yet. Like now I I still have to go and and fight people and be able to like evade them and and, and like pop out flares and like look around for the bad guys and the missiles and try to find them on my radar and like find out where they are on the radar before they find me and killed me you know what I mean <sighs> fuck that was so much fun um fuck I mean, I, I'm like I'm gonna need to go take a nap now an hour and 14 minutes I think we're gonna we're gonna end it with that guys um that was so much fun. Uh, <sighs> Jesus. I, I haven't even read like any of these fucking comments here. Um <laughs> good good call on the fucking volume going down that much. I think I'm gonna need to um, like see all this shit. I know this gameplay. Um, 
Like all this stuff is on high. Like the best graphics you can get. And my computer's running good. It, it runs this even on 4K, but I'm gonna need to turn some of this stuff down for for uh, if I wanna do any uh, live streaming stuff. I, I definitely say that this is pretty fucking fun. Let's exit out of here and let's not tell Jenny, but let's go to the store. I love my son. Uh, yeah, you can get like, you can get like, um, DCS World Store. I'm sorry, guys. I, I have no idea how to work this fucking store page. This is what I want. Okay. Now, show me what I'm allowed to buy. Here. Okay. So, see, this is the, the F16, the hub on it. Okay, so this is the F-18. See how you have this little thing here? You see that in the screen. So that's why I picked the F-16. I also picked the F-16 because uh, it doesn't have that um, because it's, it's super fast. Um, but like, like, for instance, to get this carrier, like you can literally learn, like they have like, aircraft carrier landing competitions um you can get that you can get different campaigns for the f-18 um yeah there's a lot of stuff man f-14 just a fucking classic look at the look at that F-15, this is the fastest plane in the sim. Oh, the Yak-52, only $59. I mean, that's that, that sounds fucking like a fair deal. Yeah, right. A Soviet trainer? No, no, no. Should we do it? Should we add it to the cart right now? Ah, fuck it. I think I got a... I gotta learn one plane at a time here. Yeah, you can get the Normandy map. So there's the Normandy map. There's the Persian Gulf. And these fucking maps aren't big. They're not small. They're like... They're huge. Go look how big they are. I don't even know what the fucking Spitfire... I don't even know what you... Uh, like how big they are. You can get the A-10 Warthog. Nevada, the Nevada mission. Um, you can fly in the, all these canyons. <sighs> Fuck. Do I need to eat? I think I need to eat. You know when you get like adrenaline dumps and then, and then you, you need like food afterwards that's what just happened you can get the f-22 but it's a skin that you buy and it's not one-to-one -one like this because they're not allowed to release the the like technical notes on that aircraft so um what they've done is they've kind of like know they know the abilities from just like watching it and in this game you're doing a lot of like um 
dogfighting, like modern day dogfighting, like circles and loops, and you're trying to get behind the guy. And the F-22, even in this game, it just, like, gets behind any aircraft, like, instantly, just because it can turn so sharply. But you can you can get it as a mod to um, to one of the airplanes. I think it's the F-16 or F-18. Anyways, that was fun. I'm going to, like, go back and, like, watch it, because, like, I literally... I, I literally don't even remember fucking landing that thing. Now, this is the thing. I fucking landed in F-18. Is it because I kind of know the stuff with the quads and I've flown wings before FPV and, like, we're just in this age of gamers where we can, like, land this stuff? Like, was that actually, like, if I was in an F-16... Can I actually land it? That's something I have to look into. Um, I'll go on some forums and see. Because I, I, f- I feel like that's pretty impressive. I mean, we did end up upside down. But that's because the nose wheel steering shit is just way too sensitive. I'm going to have to put like a curve or an expo on it. And then um, I'm going to have to... Um, just get used to it like fuck that was so much fun now i'm gonna have to find ways to like sneak away to fucking play this game anyways okay thanks for uh thanks for sharing that experience with me guys um tomorrow we'll do more uh more drl sim work and we'll stay out of the dcs world but um yeah you can buy the harrier jet i'm pretty sure I thought I saw it there. Um, I see. I see people play it though. Y- you can buy like you can get like the F thirty five. You can get so much stuff. You got to read into it. There's a huge yeah. There you go. Um, that's the Harrier for you. That's the Harrier, right? Why don't they call it a Harrier? Is that the actual name for Yeah, Harrier. Generation Harrier. Yeah, you can get the Harrier. What you do is you get the Harrier, and then you go buy the fucking Normandy 1944, and you just cruise through the fucking mountainsides like your RAF. Um, yeah. Th- thanks for hanging out. Um, I had so much fun. Like, that was a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait to get either head, head tracking or my VR set up so I can like look around the cockpit a little bit easier um, and just have like a zoom in, zoom out, out button and not have to like, you know, and just have it more like you pull back on the stick, you look to your side and then you can, you know, it's just going to be better. Um, hurry up, Aaron. Get your fucking computer ASAP. Um we will everyone stay safe stay safe and don't panic we're all gonna get through this fucking epidemic soon okay um we'll see you tomorrow